Hi friends, welcome to the video lectures on technical scene. Coming to the question number 21. What will be the size of the following union declaration? So here it is given three variables x, y, z and x is declared as integer, y as care and z as float. That is a union type. Now what is the size? Of course there is a difference between when you declare it as a structure and union. If you declare structure as like this. So here what will be the memory allocated for this? The size will be int x, x that is for 2 bytes, for care 1 byte, for float 4 bytes totally 7 bytes will be allocated when you declare it as a struct. But whereas for union it will consider maximum among all the variables the size which is the maximum it will consider here for int it is 2 care it is 1 float it is 4 so what is the maximum value 4 so that will be allocated when you declare it as union when you declare it as struct it will be the total size that is you need to count add all those sizes of data variables whereas in union you need to consider the maximum so the size will be allocated that is 4 the answer is B so question number 22 so what is the output of the following code if you consider this here in D equals to C C equals to 2 D equals 5 equals 10 it is given and A equals to you need to find it of course this is a ternary operator operation that is a conditional operator so how you need to calculate in general if you have like this i equals to uh, something like j greater than k question mark then a colon b it is given if this condition is true a will be assigned to i if this condition is false b will be assigned to i like this it happens now if you see here of course more than one ternary operator you are finding we'll see c is greater than one first you need to check this condition if this condition is true this entire code has to be executed otherwise directly you need to consider 300 but if you consider here 2 c equals to 2 2 is greater than 1 yes so you need to consider if it is false like c equals like 0 0 is greater than 1 false then you can consider directly this 300 to a but here 2 is greater than 1 that is true that's why I'm considering this one now here if you consider this is a condition this total is a condition so you need to check this condition d is greater than 1 so 5 greater than 1 yes true this is a or operator anyway no need to check this one because 1 is true then it will goes for true so 5 is greater than 1 true 10 is greater than of course true true or true always true so that's why if this is true you need to consider this value if this is false you need to consider this value anyway in our condition first this is true that's why we came here and here this is true that's why this 100 has to be assigned to A. So print of percentage A, A value will be 100. The answer is B. Like this you need to consider if you go for ternary operators. So how many times below loop will be executed? So here it, it is asking not the output only how many times below loop will be executed. So here you have loops first if you consider for loop that is for x equals to 5 so I'm considering x equals to 5 here for x equals to 5 this is a nested for loop so for x equals to 5 y equals to 1 it needs to consider 1 less than or equals to x value is 5 1 less than or equals 5 yes true then it will be executed then 1 plus plus y value will become 2 y value will become 3 y value will become 4 then y value will become 5 so 5 less than or equals to 5 of course true then y value will become 6 then for 6 condition will be false so in the first iteration 5 times will be executed next time it goes to here x will be decremented so now x value will become 4 when x equals to 4 for y equals to 1 of course 1 is less than or equals to 4 like this 2 next 3 4 when it comes to 5 then condition will be false so we, here it will execute 4 times when x equals to 3 y value will take 
1 2 3 only where 4 is false so 3 like this next when x equals to 2 y equals to 1 comma 2 2 times when x equals to 1 if i consider so 1 is greater than or equals to 1 of course true here y equals 1 1 is less than or equals to 1 yes true so one time it will execute when it comes to 2 the condition will be false now only one time now x value will become 0 0 greater than 1 this is false so totally how many times the loop is executing 15 times the answer is a now what will be the output of the following code so float f equals it is given as 0 0.1 now 0 0.1 is checking with comparing with 0 0.1 is it true in general we can say that yes it is true but if you consider the how compiler will take this value so it's a float value you know that's why it will become 0 point of course 0 0.1 but here float value it is not exactly taking the same thing it is followed with six decimals after decimal point now i found some interesting results when you consider different float values for f so if you consider f equals 0 0.1 now I am getting the answer as no but if I consider f equals to 0 0.5 like this if I consider this the answer you are getting as yes for this 0 0.1 I am getting no 0 0.5 I am getting yes not only 0 0.5 even for 0 0.25 also I am getting yes even for 0 0.75 also I am getting yes even for 0 0.125 I am getting yes for if I take 0 0.1 or else something like 0 0.15 like this if i take something 0 0.32 like this i am getting no so what is this problem why we are getting for these values i am getting no for these values i am getting a yes so the main main thing here is it has to convert this value into binary no whereas these values if i consider whatever the values i have given when i convert it into binary if i multiply with 2 I am getting here 0 0.5 then if I write here 0 0.5 into 2 I am getting 1.0 ending and here 0 0.75 also if I write like this it will become 1.5 1.5 into 2 that is 3.0 so with the point 0 it is ending even if you take for this also but whereas if I take this values 0 0.1 into 2 it is 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 into 2 0 0.4 0 0.4 into 2 0 0.8 0 0.8 into 2 1.6 1.6 into 2 see you can observe after point you are not getting 0 anywhere if I do like this never I'll get 0 even if you take for this sign this also so for this which I am not getting ending as 0 I am getting the answer as no for this which I am getting as 0 it is ending and not only that it will consider the value in binary so in binary if I consider after decimal it is somewhere ending that uh, binary value somewhere ending that's why I am getting yes here somewhere it is ending but whereas for this values it's not ending it is continuously going so that's why here I am getting the value as no here this is the main observation we can consider for our question the answer is no that is the answer is a next question how many times hello will print here so you can see here so for loop i equals to 0 here initially of course here you have for loop but you need to observe one thing here you have semicolon in for loop that means this printf statement will not belongs to will not belongs to this for loop that's why even after n number of iterations it will come out of the loop and it prints hello only once it will not print print more than once why because it is not belongs to for loop and also this for loop is ending here itself it is repeatedly executing here if the condition is false it is coming here and it is printing once so this you need to remember when you have semicolons for for loops so the answer is So we'll go for some more multiple choice questions in the next video lectures. Thank you.